My 26F partner, 27M, cheated on me for the second time. My partner and I have been together for almost seven years. We broke up on our first year because I found out he had been sexting with another girl. We spent four months apart, and then he asked for forgiveness and promised to change, so I took him back and forgave him. We moved in together, and our relationship grew stronger and healthier. In 2022, he was going through a burnout, so we decided to break up again and stay on a break. I decided to start seeing other people, and him too. We both agreed this was okay. We kept seeing each other, and at the beginning of 2023, we decided to try it again, but not make it official yet. He wanted me to be sure I really wanted to be back with him and also wanted me to go to therapy to solve some traumas before we made it official. I started going to therapy, but due to my finances couldn't keep going. But Eve assured him that I'm 100% sure I want to be back with him and get married and have a life together. We've had ups and downs because of this during the year, but I felt that we were at a really good place and that soon he'd ask me to officially be his GF. He has a friend that he regularly keeps in contact with. She used to be a work friend of mine, but she stopped talking to me and grew closer with my partner. I had never thought anything bad of it until recently I started to get a weird gut feeling about her, and my gut feelings are never wrong. I decided to check his phone just to keep my peace, but could not find much, only that she sometimes sent him kind of flirty messages, so I decided it was best to ask him directly and tell him about my worries. He confirmed he sexted with her one time last week, that he is extremely disgusted with himself, and that he regrets it happened. I feel destroyed, betrayed, and in disbelief that he cheated again after so many years, and knowing how much it hurt me when he did it the first time. We've spoke, and he says he promises it won't ever happen again, that he really loves me and want to spend his life with me, that he doesn't like his friend, and that he only did it BC. He was horny, and she sent him a nude first. I obviously think that is a lame excuse to cheating, and he is aware of how bad he fucked up and is willing to make it better. The thing is, I'm really hurt. I don't understand how he could risk it all like that just for being horny. What was he thinking? And also, why did he never put a stop to the flirtation of that friend? Right now, I'm not sure if I should forgive him again and believe he will make up for it like he did last time. I obviously told him that if I gave him another chance, he'd have to cut all ties with that friend and we may try couples therapy to work through this. But at the same time, I feel I'd be too stupid if I forgave him, knowing he knew better already. I've always felt that we are soulmates and couldn't imagine sharing my life with anyone else. Am I crazy for considering giving him one more chance? Does he deserve to get one more opportunity? Could therapy really help us go through this? Or am I delusional for thinking this way? Top comments. First comment. Wow, what a strange coincidence that you caught him the one and only time he's ever done this. Gee, there's no way he has been doing this regularly forever, and this is just the first time you caught him. No Suri second comment. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Someone reply, absolutely. I try my best to stay away from generalizations. Once? Okay. Depending on circumstances, there may be opportunities and a lot of work to recover twice, or more. There is something fundamentally wrong, and history should be the predictor of the future. It's not just his behavior in cheating, but yours in showing him he can do this to you. I am not victim shaming you. I'm just pointing out that you show a history of behavior that tells him that the future will allow for him to do this again, and you'll still be there. Please trust me and everyone else here. Save yourself a long road of pain and heartache. Show yourself how much you love yourself. Show him too. Teach him how you want to be treated. You stay, that teaches him one thing. You leave, that teaches another. I was with my ex-wife, girlfriend at the time, for five years before she cheated on me. I tolerated it and she did it again. I stayed. We got married roughly two years later and started having kids. After nine years of marriage, together for over 16 years, she cheated on me multiple times. We separated. I took her back to keep the family together. Two years of hell later, she cheated again. We are now almost eight months separated. Don't be like me, don't tolerate this. Third comment, girl, never let a man tell you he doesn't want you twice. This wouldn't have happened had you left him the first time. He is playing you completely. He didn't fix himself when y'all broke up either. 
He put it on you to fix yourself. He didn't take responsibility. Lesson learned for next time. Don't be silly when it comes to cheaters. Fourth comment. Nope, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He knew what he was doing, and I doubt JT was just once last week. I've probably been going on for a while. Either way, it doesn't matter he ruined the foundation of the relationship because he was horny. He 27 FFs, not 18 years old. Just break up. You have already wasted so much time on this loser. Don't be one of these people that get cheated on again in couple years and think WTF didn't I leave when I could have. Fifth comment. I understand that ending a seven-year relationship will be difficult and painful, but it sounds like that is what needs to happen here. Unfortunately, he is very unlikely to change for very long. He has already proven that it doesn't take much for him to be tempted to cheat and didn't learn his lesson the first time. Besides, his affair with his friend is probably not the only time he's cheated recently. It is just the only time he was caught and held accountable. Story two. Boyfriend, 28 M. Om, cheated on me, 27 of Ha. For two years, I am beside myself. My boyfriend of seven years has apparently been cheating on me for two years. We live together, and he's paying for my master's degree. I don't have a job currently. My family is 1,000 miles away. So, what happened was the other day I got a Facebook message from a college-aged girl. The message started out with her apologizing and saying she didn't know about me until recently and that she felt very bad. Then it moved on to trash, talking my boyfriend for putting us both through this. And then it moved to an explanation of what happened. I'm 29F and my boyfriend is 28EM. My boyfriend and his friends from college have been getting together every couple of months and driving to a state university where one of their friends is going to medical school. I was told they drink, watch sports, etc. I've seen him hang out with these people before and that's what they seem to enjoy doing, so I never questioned it. My boyfriend's has never given me a reason not to trust him. Also, most of the guys are married. Some have kids. Given this, I didn't even think that they would be interacting with college girls. Come to find out that he met a girl while there. I saw her profile. She's pretty, seems nice. He messaged to me was very kind, honestly. He would meet up with her and do whatever. Eventually, they would end up having sex. He would see her each night he was there. Some of his friends cared and told him that he was an asshole and other friends of his didn't seem to care at all. Keep in mind that all of his friends know me. We all went to college together. I'm friends with their wives and girlfriends as well. The girl told me that when they didn't see each other, they would text and sext. This went on for two years until somehow she found out about me and all hell broke loose. There were some things that she told me that made me think that he really cared about her. She told me he told her about trips he went on. How would she know that if everything was a fling? She told me about a photo he sent her that he also sent me of something he was proud of. Fling? She told me that she would never speak to him again, and she wished me well. She also told my boyfriend to stop contacting her. I saw in the screenshots that she sent me that he was being very apologetic to her, feeling sorry to have upset her. He even said to her, You're such a nice person. I wish I never involved you in this. My boyfriend doesn't know which one of his friends betrayed him, so on top of spiraling, he's paranoid. My life has been shattered. We have been together seven years. We were going to be engaged in a few months. He has a ring. We were supposed to be engaged months ago, and I don't know if she's been the holdup. He insists that it only happened a few times, that he never cared about her. I wanted to know every detail, but I know that this has been really awkward for the girl, and all she was trying to do was the right thing. My instinct tells me that he has a sadness for her, though. No matter what he says, I feel like he loves her. I don't know what to do. Update. I'm moving out, but not back home. I started applying for jobs yesterday. I haven't told him this yet. He has promised to cut off all of his friends except for one. He said none of the other guys cheated. He said he was going with the moment and was being stupid. Typical stuff cheaters say, I presume. He admitted to liking the girl a lot, but he's saying that it wasn't a relationship. He told me that the actual sex only happened a few times. He's trying to make it sound like it was less of a big deal. I'm still thinking that he's in love with her and that's why he's playing it down so much. He knows that I am likely to leave and that she's never speaking to him again. He's panicking. 
Top comment. First comment. I'm sure this isn't the first time he's cheated on you. I'm sorry you're going through this, but all I can say is get your masters done and concentrate on yourself, even if it's using him to get it done. If he truly loved you, he wouldn't have cheated on you. Second comment. You won't believe how long some people were cheating on their partner before getting caught. Look at things this way. You are still youngish. You will soon have an advanced degree and you should have a better sense of how to detect red flags in the future. For example, if your BF and his buddies always went to the college town instead of having their med school friend come to see them often, serious red flag. He lied to her for two years, looked her in the eyes every day, and lied to her. During that time, she was a faithful person in love, preparing for a sound career, and working toward becoming his wife and mother of his children. That is just unforgivable. There are far more ethical men out in society looking to meet a faithful woman. Third comment, as much as he deserves that I defiantly would investigate any possible repercussions of this. If they break up now, any possible lawsuit he might make in regards to him paying for her masters would be hard to win. If she waits, then breaks up immediately after she finishes, then he might have more of a case. I'm not a lawyer in any way and have no knowledge in law, but I'm just saying she should figure these things out before she goes forward with it. Fourth comment, who fucking cares if he loves her, whatever that emotion is worth to him. He lied to you and cheated on you for two entire years, and even the friends who didn't like it didn't tell you. Your whole circle of friends is trash, just like your BF. You can finish your masters later. What you need to do now is pack and leave, get a job, never have contact with any of these people again. Fifth comment, Please don't be thinking about staying. I can't stand hearing about things like that. He made a choice to cheat on you for two years. Two years. This will be rough to hear, but you've already said you might stay in another comment, so listen carefully to these harsh words. How many times were you home alone missing him while he was balls deep in another girl, likely telling her he loved her? He was having sex with her while you were thinking about your future family. His dick was in her mouth while you were planning a wedding in your head. For God's sakes, cheaters will not change. Don't ruin your life by setting yourself up for a repeat of more pain. Take some time for yourself and then find a better man. Trust me, it will be easy. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Catch you next time on Our Space.